and welcome back to Cotlanby Minecraft City population one and here we are for the final part of our series on Coastway Park that's right today is episode number 43 getting close to that 50 getting close to that 50 we'll do something special for that one it's Coastway Park and it is part six I think I might have skipped a part there but anyway originally supposed to be four parts now it's six today we're gonna open bitter let them have it. The social network that's quite anti-social. And we're just finishing off this building here. So as you can see to the left there, we've got the hotel area. We've also got like a new building. That's going to be the CBC, Colony Broadcasting Corporation building. It was originally going to be a hotel, but I thought it wants to be a, at a hotel that far away from the beach when I got so much beach. So I'm going to go over and do some hotels on the beach. That's going to be something else. You're going to have studios and stuff like that in. And, um, you know, we'll see how that pans out uh, in a couple of weeks' time when we get around to that. But uh, back on with some construction then at this area. We've successfully filled in the gap between the utopia complex at the back of the financial district and the uh, holiday resort here uh, behind us and we've done it with some style that alarm going off for no idea uh, we've done it with some style we've got ourselves some new stores we've got ourselves um, a supermarket we've got ourselves a um, a food place in Taco Ding Dong. We've got ourselves a nice little park, a nice little area to go fishing with, and then we've got ourselves a large office space, which is this area here at the top that I'm just putting the roof on. And we've also got ourselves um, a lovely um, series of little shops and things at the bottom as well. Uh, so it's, it's turned out quite nicely. This I'm really happy with it. it looks a bit like a bumblebee. Uh, the roof of this place the colour scheme and looks a bit like a bee which is funny because my wasp traps uh, that I have 3D printed have been killing lots of wasps these last couple of days uh, they uh, they just kind of sit on top of like um, a soda bottle so they kind of screw in uh, the wasps already go in they can't get out you just put some like juice in there or something I've found that orange juice is okay apple juice works quite well sangria works really well but I'm not filling them with sangria all the time. A um, bit of lemonade as well, but you have to top it up. Uh, 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 the other problem is with lemonades, a lot of them now, they're sugar free, so they don't work. It's got to be sweet. got to be sweet. But anyway, there you go. Um, they're working real well. Let's just fill these in then. So we want these areas to be quite light. Again, at night time, this area looks quite good. Uh, um, it's well lit indeed uh, because I've thought about lighting from the very start which is something I don't usually do I usually leave it right until the very end or not even think about it at all so we'll have a look at Cotton B uh, at night at some point and that is a uh, a challenge for me to make sure it all lights up properly okay so we've got loads of lights going in and even though it is daytime this area here gets really really dark the lighting I love lighting in my do a really good job of it detail on the lighting is beautiful so we're just putting these uh, not uh, glass in because want normal glass uh, the rest of it's like yellow glass that's nice opaque glass and then we're going to put some stairs in uh, we've been using the uh, slate stairs quite a lot on this project so we're going to continue to use the oh, low battery uh, slate stairs there as well and this uh, is a staircase that will take you over to one of the shops so there are shops down at the bottom shops at the top the shops at the bottom are quite small uh, let's talk about drinks. So I've been on one recently, haven't I, about soft drinks and stuff. I discovered this uh, little drinks selection in this Chinese supermarket I was in looking for the ingredients for boba tea. And as you can see, they've got a nice little selection of glassed soft drinks there as well. Um, more on that later, I did purchase a couple of those. What has the 3D printer been doing this week? Well, can you guess what that is? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's got two parts on it. The bit around the edge, the line is just the outline. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick. Yes, that's right. It's a soda can lid. So basically, it's got two parts and it swivels round. So you clip it on top of your drinks can, and then you close it when you don't want your drink or you put your drink down. It keeps the wasps and the flies out. Ah, pretty good. Huh? Took about ten minutes to print that as well. Really impressed. Um, lovely, lovely. I have to stick a few of them on eBay, I think. Okay, um, the uh, whole idea of this area though <clears throat> is 
is to bridge the gap. It's a multi-use area, so although there's no housing in it, uh, there is a shops business and also a food retail and leisure in the way of a park. There's a horseway connection, a boatway connection, there's a tube station just behind it, it's raining again, what a surprise, uh, and it's also got a bit at the back which is like a park, mm, and park, there you go again, planet coaster, more planet coaster over the next couple of weeks by the way, uh, it's got a city entrance as well, so although this does sit, this backs onto the city wall, which remember is there to keep me in, not to keep people out, just to stop this urban sprawl that I am experiencing building this city. Um, it does uh, have like a, an exit point as well. So I'm going to put a few of these on there. Areas where you will be able to go through a checkpoint and you will be able to sign out the city and go outside into the wilderness. Of, of like pretty much nothing different. Um, yeah, so this roof kind of comes over the over here. The uh, waterway, the boatway underneath, directly underneath where we are now, is all covered. So I ended up putting a roof on that as well. And the um, horseway park there is kind of semi-covered. This whole area at the back, I'm going to build an atrium here. So this is going to be a lovely little atrium. This is the entrance to Bitter, which is the social network that has rented this space uh, at the top of this unit for me. So we'll just make this a nice little, not necessarily a dome, but a peak, an apex glass roof. There we go, it's very nice. And then that's done, isn't it? That looks quite nice. Very snazzy. Uh, and then we'll just put this desk in here, so it's like an entrance desk there. Obviously, whenever I use this polished granite, it denotes a desk or a workspace or something like that. So that's looking quite nice. Yeah, uh, really nice. I've spent, uh, I must have spent what? Just in video time, what well, we've got six of these, 15 to about. Must be a good two hours of videos, but I must have spent a lot longer than that on this place. Um, Drinks wise as well, uh, what did I end up uh, with this week? I thought this Mountain Dew, uh, original formula, so not the Citrus Blast one, original formula. Not quite sure how much sugar is in it though, not sure which one. I think it's the, I think it's, there's double that, so what, about 80% sugar. Really, really nice. The original formula, spot on. This is the can I ended up buying. Again, Mountain Dew week. This is Mountain Dew, I'm not quite sure what language that is. Um, I think it might be some sort of Arabic language. But there it is, chilled and ready to go. Now, whenever you drink Coca-Cola out of a glass bottle, it tastes completely different. And by the way, I have no idea what the nutritional scores are on this because it's just all gobbledygook to me, that. Um, but it tastes different. This is the same with Mountain Dew as well. With Mountain Dew, if you drink it out of a bottle, plastic bottle, yuck, you drink it out of a can, mm, not bad. You drink the original formula out of a glass bottle and it is something completely different. It's a wonderful drink, it's a beautiful drink, it's lovely jubbly. Uh, it's got a nice cap on it there, and it's classy isn't it? It's dead classy this. Uh, that bottle was £1.20 <coughs> from a uh, Chinese style supermarket shop uh, in Grimsby. Brilliant, and I bought the rest of them, so we'll have a drink of them at some point as well. I'm really looking forward to some of them. Some of them don't even know what's in them. There's, just, there's a red one that's just got stuff in it, red stuff in it, um, and the rest of them are just random, 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 random. Bought a, cha a Japanese uh, drink from a place in Lincoln a few weeks ago where you actually have to smash open the bowl. It, well, smash open, it's got like a, um, it's got like a glass ball in it at the top and you get like a little rubber thing that comes with it. I'll buy another one, I'll, I'll film it. I don't know why I didn't film it. And you have to like hit it, you have to smash the uh, glass ball out the top of the bowl, and the ball goes into the bowl, and you just drink through it. Crazy, completely and totally novelty, like totally over-engineered, but what a cool drink. Um, just adding the water here to the boatway. So this boatway will take you all the way now. Uh, this boatway, in fact, stretches the full length of the city, in fact, I believe. Think about that correctly. It does indeed, yes. So I will do a little boatway tour. Fantastic. Um, 
that the boatways have really come along. Uh, they are now uh, you can actually get to where you want to go on on most of them. So there's a bit of work there. So let's just tidy this up so it looks like nice and symmetrical there. Ah, that's looking good. Right, let's have a tour. Who loves a tour? Look at this Coastway Park. Beautiful little aerial shot there. The R diddle diddle, the taco ding dong. Nice roof as well. And then obviously to the right there we're gonna have the CBC building. Wonderfully lit inside. Lots of trees, lots of nature, very inviting, big open spaces. Look at this, it's just really, really nice. It's built this space beautifully. This area in front of the Mind the Store and the uh, park down here, just down to the lake there, where there's uh, like a little fishing area as well, as has turned out really nicely. Here's the Taco Ding Dong there, wonderful design, lovely colours got the horseway and the boatway through as well so you can turn up on your horse for your tacos or on your boat as well and then we've got the bitter building at the back there it is bitter okay let them have it the social network that isn't very sociable gonna be a big hit they think gonna be a big hit um and there's the entrance there to the city here's the entrance to the upstairs there and there's a nice little pan shot of the kind of uh, plaza as you come in so you've got this nice little plaza there we've got this beautiful strip light at the top um, we've got shops up at the first level so as we go in to these shops you're going up the stairs and here's the shops on the first level and then underneath there because obviously there's a horseway that cuts all the way uh, on, across this so I couldn't just do the um, shops uh, without having um, steps going up to them but there was a space at the front in front of the horseway for some uh, smaller stores so we've managed to get these smaller stores in you know things like hairdressers little uh, uh, cafe coffee shops sandwich shops that kind of thing they can go in there plenty of retail space three of those units two at the top uh, boatways down there Horseway is uh, down there if you want to come by horse. You've got the mind the store there at the top and then up here we go up towards this atrium. On the left we've got the entrance and exit to the city, currently blocked off. And then you've got the bitter um, offices uh, where people are biting away every day. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's nicely unfurnished. Obviously, Cotland is an unfurnished city. You bring your own furniture, but it's looking good. Beautiful. Wonderful, dead happy with that development, and there's more to come as well. But not next week, because next time on Cotton B Minecraft City, we are going back into a door. Yay! It's the um, riddle, diddle, diddle. No cat, no fiddle. Uh, no cow jumping over any moons or anything. And it, but it is riddle, diddle, diddle. We're going through a door, and we're going to see what is behind mystery door number four. I want to say, yeah, three or four. Um, it's going to be great very exciting stuff so make sure you do subscribe if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and if you did enjoy this video give it a like and to be honest with you if you didn't enjoy the video but you've got this far in it give it a like anyway because you know you're right near the end now um, and then after that we're going to go back and do some building so we've got the Cotland Broadcasting Corporation that's going to go in there just to your right and that's going to be a, a nice development as well and then we've got the area behind here which is currently empty which I might put a golf course on who knows not sure how a golf course would work in Minecraft either way please do come back and see us next week lots of shorts coming up over the next couple of weeks lots of planet coaster as well and I'll see you soon take care